Hi, I'm Margaret Stiegel, and this is The Margaret Stiegel Show. As your host, Margaret Stiegel, I'm taking you through an exciting journey featuring pumpkin, the vegetable of the fall, nutritious and delicious, and comes in a handy can. Um, Margaret, what are you doing? I'm doing a little commercial for pumpkin puree. Um, we don't do commercials on do my now. show. <laughs> no, Margaret, you can go. Whatever you say, Dave. Hey. This is Dave on the Dave Shadell Show, and I'm here to talk to you guys about Thanksgiving. This is the week before Thanksgiving break, so we went out and asked people some of their favorite Thanksgiving traditions and weirdest memories. And then we've got some shadoos and shadonts of actual Thanksgiving week. But before that, we have a little cooking segment with me and Margaret. Thanks so much for tuning in this week, guys. Let's go to Dave and Busted now. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you for Thanksgiving? A lot. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited? A lot, like beyond the scale. 10. There's no school. Um, <laughs> zero. Oh, uh, okay. Why is that? Um, because it's pretty cool. I'm not, we're not going to be at school. Pause. Go with a 10. Very excited. So, not excited at all if we were using the Egyptian scale? Well, I'm the resident American here. Oh. <laughs> what are all these people over here? Um, which biblical character would you like to invite to your Thanksgiving Day feast and why? Probably Lot. Lot. Yeah. Is there a reason for that? Just that whole thing that happened with his wife. I feel really bad for him. Yeah, understandable. Understandable. Probably Martha because she made good food. <laughs> but she wouldn't be very friendly. I know, but she'd be in the kitchen making food. <laughs> okay, so you guys could all party and relax? Yeah. Um, Noah, so he can bring the turkey. <laughs> Eve? Is there a why to that? I just want to talk to her. See why she ate the apple? Yes. Thoughts on cranberries? Good, bad, evil, ugly? Fun, Fun. But not necessary. They're infecting all the other foods. Crane raisins are great, cranberries not a big fan of. So I'll be bringing you a can of that cranberry stuff for your yeah. Thanksgiving. That would be perfect. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag give it to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Today we invited our friend Margaret Stiegel, Women's ISC Director, to come help us make a little tasty treat for the fall season. Hey, thanks for being with us, Margaret. Thanks so much for having me. This is kind of a dream come true for me. I really appreciate <laughs> I'm it. I'm a little concerned about your dreams. <laughs> All right, so can you tell us what we're making today? We're making a pumpkin cream cheese dip. Sweet. It has pumpkin and cream cheese in it. <laughs> I would so it's gonna hope be really so. good. So we're gonna start with a cup of pumpkin puree. Do we have any extra pumpkin <laughs> left over? I think we do. And do it, we want to eat that? Because yes. I love me some pumpkin puree. You may think it looks like this baby is a pumpkin food. can. Are we really gonna try this? Yes, okay. I want to try a spoonful of this. <laughs> Get more. I am <laughs> good. <laughs> That's not great. That's not great. <laughs> You okay there, David? All right. <laughs> the next thing we've got is two cups of powdered sugar. <laughs> You're not going to recover from that, are you? This is powdered sugar. Okay. Two and uh, cups. just powdered sugar, or do we put some seasoning in there? Two cups. And it has a half teaspoon of ginger and a teaspoon of cinnamon. All right. I'll throw that in there. And then, do you want to get that? Yeah, what do we got that here? That is a stick of cream cheese that's kind of softened and a half cup of sour cream. Sounds good to me. You might need this little spoon to get that out. I'll help you. There we go. I need assistance all the time. There we go. I think we've got enough to count. Use the rubber-headed spatula to get more out of a bowl, kids. Yep. I didn't grow up in a barn. Looks well, good. I kind of did. All right, so we're going to mix so it all together. So what do we do from here? we got to mix it all together with the uh, hand mixer. I know most of you have at least one of these in your dorm, so choose a slower Now's speed. a good time to pull it out. Like a one to start out with. Yep. And just get it down in there. Yep, you're going to spill everywhere, and, and that's okay. It, since it's powdered sugar, the initial mixing will spray this stuff pretty much everywhere. So make sure to do this while your roommates are either studying for a final... Or sleeping. Or sleeping. Yeah, this is a good idea to do it while they're sleeping. So this looks pretty good. We probably should have let the cream cheese get a little softer. Hindsight's 2020 on that one, but that's okay. Confession. We didn't let the cream cheese get as soft as it should have been. We're gonna and try this. You may have wanted to put in a little more powdered sugar. It's a little thinner, 
So try bumping up the sugar, nothing yeah, wrong with that. A good idea. Amen? Yep. So now we're going to take <clears throat> a ginger snap cookie. While we eat our ginger snaps, Margaret, why don't you tell me about what all the ISC people do? Um, well, we basically work with societies a lot. I don't know if I can eat and talk about this. Yeah, at the same time. Oh, it's really good. Okay, so basically we work with societies. And right now we're working on the Turkey Bowl, which is like the huge society event of the year. Um, do we already the, know which teams are in that? We actually don't. We'll oh, find man. out this week, and it's really close right before we find out because of playoffs. But two teams will play in 7v7 championships, the 11v11 championships. And How many games do we have? Do we have just the guys' games on Turkey Bowl night? Yeah, we do. Um, I should know this stuff, but I'm also really glad that I can let Margaret teach me about it. Yeah, that's Thank what I'm you, here Margaret. for. Thank You're you. welcome. Shoulder pad of affirmation. Yeah. <laughs> this year, though, we're doing something really cool, and we're having a hot air balloon Whoa. people can go up in, into. Whoa! Yeah. So for $5, you can go on a hot air balloon How ride. How high is it going? I don't know. Really high. Higher than the activity center. So. Straight up? Straight up. <laughs> How cool is that going to be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there's also going to be like a FIFA tournament and free hot chocolate and so, food trucks. What kind of food trucks are going to be there? Um, Fuddruckers is going to be there, Circa Donut, the Chocolate Moose. Circa cupcakes. has a food truck now? Well, it's like their little stands, like oh, a pop-up. Oh, a pop-up. Pop-up. I really want Circa to roll up in like one of those I know, big... <laughs> a huge truck, like an army van. All right, yeah, so really that sounds cool. amazing. So can you give us the dates for that again? Um, it's this Saturday, November 21st at 6.30, the 7v7 game starts, and at 8, the 11v11 game starts. Sweet, thanks so much for coming in, Margaret. Hope you guys enjoy making the dip. I don't know how many of you will, but You're it's actually it. delicious, because I'm gonna take another one. <laughs> thanks so much, Margaret. You're welcome, thanks for having me. With Thanksgiving break around the corner, we wanna give you some shadoos and shadonts for our turkey time holiday. Do. Relax over the break and get some rest. Don't sleep the entire time. Four out of five doctors say that two out of three people with seven, who sleep 75% of the time only need five of the seventh of the actual rest time. Also, 90% of statistics are made up on the spot. Do enjoy spending time with your family and relatives over break. Don't talk to Aunt Betty. She only goes on about two things. One, why are you still single? Two, Donald Trump. But hey, build that border wall, am I right, Aunt Betty? Do. Eat as much as you can for Thanksgiving. Don't literally eat as much as you can. That's called a trip to the hospital. Do. Be thankful for the season and show that thanks to others. Don't ponder too much on the negative things, like how the break is really short, or that you have a paper due the day that you get back, or that you still don't have a job for Christmas break, or how life is a vapor. Or, you know, let's just leave those thoughts be. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.